Yang, 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 yang. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. Coach Jones, back on the East Coast with it, back up in the gym today, ready to get this working. One week closer to beach season, baby. One week closer. And today, we are back at the gym of all gyms. That's right, we back here at Gold's Gym here in Dundalk, Maryland. Ready to get some good chest work in. Like I said, some arm work as well. B season's right around the corner and we're still prepping for it. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you guys like the video on the way in. Also, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this work in. <laughs> All right, so got our warm up in. We did a little bit of the ski erg today, much like how we did for our thousand pound video. Similar warm up to that. So if you haven't seen the warm up for our 1K club video, Go ahead, click on this link right here. You can see the warm up for the 1K Club video. That's the same warm up that I did today. So we're going to head on over to the freeway area. We're going to get started on some pressing movements. Let's get this working today, baby. All right, so like I said, we're getting some heavy push action today, some nice chest work, some good arm work. We're going to start here with the flat bench. Now, we've already done a few warm up sets. We've done a few warm up sets here. Now we're going to get into our working set. So. Starting with some moderate weight here. And we're gonna keep uh we're gonna keep our reps kind of moderate too. So we'll just go, we'll go eight reps here. We'll go eight reps here. Nothing too crazy. Just making sure that we're getting all our muscles engaged, working the right mechanics in our bench press. There's our first working set. I think we could uh think we could go up in some weight going into our next set. I think we'll just go up a smooth 10 pounds. We'll just add five to each side, so we're going up to 235 here. It's very different how efficient my movement feels at lower elevation than it does at higher altitude. I think uh, right now we're practically at sea level, but I feel a lot stronger than I do when I'm on the west coast and in Wairika. Wairika's elevation is somewhere in between 2,500 to 2,800 feet in elevation compared to, again, sea level here. So my muscles feel a lot more refreshed, a lot more oxygenated through this workout than, than it typically does in Wairico on the West Coast. So we'll do another set here. I think we'll, um, we'll keep the reps kind of moderate. Six to eight we'll go for here. We had a 10 pound increase. We'll do anywhere from six to eight reps here. We'll shoot for eight. Six is the absolute minimum for us here. Let's go for it. Oh, one more. So those are our first two working sets here. We'll do a few more sets here and then we'll go on to our second movement of the day. Now the next thing that we got on the docket for today 
are going to be our unilateral and bilateral curls. All right, so today we're going to use it on a plate loaded machine. I like plate loaded machines better than the pin selector machines. I just think you get a, a better resistance. I think the resistance is a little bit better when gravity is the primary force acting on it. Rather, well, of course, gravity is going to act on it anyway, but versus it being uh, acted on by a pulley system as well, we eliminate the pulley system and we apply that force directly to our arm at the angle that it's at. So we'll start with some unilateral curls. We'll go for 10 here. Big squeeze at the top, nice stretch, control the whole way. Halfway through, big squeeze at the top. Here we go, last two on this arm. There's our Tim with the right. Let's go lefty now. Again, constant tension on that bicep is the name of the game. And the cool thing about us doing it early is that we hit the bicep when it's fresh. So we get to apply the most force that we can out of it. And now we're getting greater tension, a greater tension response out of it. Here we go, last five. Nice and controlled the whole way through. Big squeeze at the top, two more. There's our unilateral curl. We'll go ahead and just add 10 pounds to this. And now we'll go bilateral, constant tension on the bicep. We're really gonna focus our emphasis on that bottom half stretch, okay? So bottom half stretch emphasis. Really working that constant tension on the bicep here. Nice and controlled the whole way through. Four more. Big squeeze. Last one. So there are our unilateral curls and bilateral curls. We'll do a few more sets of this. I'm thinking uh, five or six sets today. We'll do five or six sets here. Again, higher in volume. We're going higher in volume here. Five to six more sets here. And then we'll move on to our first superset of the day. All right, so we got our first movements in. Did a little bit of flat bench, did a little bit of curling. Now we'll actually head to the outdoor exercise area to get our next superset in. Now that we got our first pressing movement and our first curling movement in, we can get on to our first superset of the day, which will actually combine the two elements. So here we're gonna do uh, some machine flies. I actually kind of like this machine. It's, it's a lot smoother than uh, the seated pec flies, I think, and I think it actually puts your chest in a better angle to really get the contraction that you want. So we're gonna use this one. This is our outdoor area here at Gold's Gym in Dundalk. Again, one of the many reasons why I love this gym. So we'll go a little bit more volumetric for this superset. So we'll go for 12 to 15 reps here on the fly. Big contraction on the chest. So there's our 12 reps on the pec fly. Now we'll do 12 bicep curls each arm. We'll do hammer curls for this. So an incline hammer curl will be our superset. And we're gonna go for 10 here. Keeping constant tension on that bicep, nice and controlled on the way down. We're halfway through, five more on each arm. Big squeeze. Here we go, last one. And 
And there is our first superset of the day. So we're gonna do three sets here of our pec fly, superset it with our incline hammer curls, and then we'll move on to our final cluster of the day, which will actually be a three exercise cluster. Now to polish the entire workout off, we're gonna come here to the hammer strength chest press. So we're gonna do two movements with the hammer strength chest press. We're gonna into our third movement for this cluster. So we're gonna start with our bilateral chest press. We're a little bit heavier here, so we can keep the reps moderate, eight to 10 reps here. Nice and controlled the whole way. Keeping constant tension on that pec. Last two, one more. So there's our hammer string chest press. We'll go ahead and drop the weight just a tiny bit. And we'll work. A unilateral chest press, all right? So a little bit more volumetric here than our last set. So we'll go 10 to 12 here. Big emphasis on that contraction in the middle of our chest. Last two. We'll flip it over, get the other side. Nice and controlled. Last four. So there's our first two movements in this cluster. Last movement in this cluster is gonna be a 25 pound plate press. So we'll start here, center chest, pressing straight out. Going for 12. Two more, come on. Uh, struggle with those last two, but Again, it should feel that way if we're truly burning our chest out at the end. My chest is getting a really nice pump now. Feels super, super tight, super pumped up. We'll probably do a total of five sets here and then we'll go get a stretch in. Um, actually, before we get a stretch in, we'll probably actually run some sprints today. So again, we're still getting ready for that beach. We wanna pump blood throughout our body. So we're gonna do some sprints to polish our entire workout off. We'll get our stretch in and then we're good to go. Another beautiful day, another absolutely phenomenal lift. Definitely got some great work in today. Chest is feeling pumped up. We already got our post-workout meal in the system, so that recovery is already happening. We're already starting to experience those gains. Now, if you didn't on the way in, which I don't know why you wouldn't have, make sure that you guys like the video. Also, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you can get all the latest updates on videos when I post them and new goals when I create them. Also, if you want the full length version of today's workouts, make sure that you guys head on over to my Patreon where you can access all the full length versions of the workouts I do here on YouTube. Last but not least, make sure that you guys head on over to Instagram, hit Coach Jones with a follow at Coach Jones underscore. That is at Coach Jones underscore. Now, until next time, peace.